we're going to cover the State of the Union here for a, a while, and uh, we'll talk about – I had a good time doing the – you know, one of the more effective things I thought – I don't know if you guys caught this – was that ad that they ran. Um, did you guys see – I don't know if you guys saw this ad. Run, run, roll that, G. Remember this ad? This is drugs. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Wow, <laughs> this is your brain on drugs. Nancy and Ronald. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty. I thought that was effective. Yeah. That was effective. That's what's going to happen. Stay Some maracas. Stay, right. stay away from the drugs, kids. <laughs> um, well, I asked G to put together in only way we can a recap of the night in case you missed it or or couldn't stomach it. And you were. I had a lot of people say I didn't watch it. I'm, I'm waiting for your version. Well, here's our version. Roll it, G. Congress, I have the high privilege and distinct honor of presenting to you the President of the United States. Thank you all very, very much. Last year, COVID-19 kept us apart. This year, we're finally together again. Vladimir Putin sought to shake the very foundations of the free world. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never <laughs> anticipated or imagined. And the cost, the threats to the America and America to the world. <laughs> we spent months building coalitions of other freedom loving nations in Europe <laughs> and the Americas to, from America to the Asian and African continents <laughs> to confront Putin. It matters. Now that he's acted, the three war free world is holding him accountable. We're cutting off Russia's largest banks in the international financial system, preventing Russia's central bank from defending the Russian ruble. R ruble. <laughs> Putin may circle Kiev with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. The Iranian people. These steps will help blunt gas prices here at home, but I know news about what's happening can seem alarming to all Americans. But I want you to know we're going to be okay. The <laughs> pandemic has been punishing. And so many families are living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to keep up with the rising cost of food, gas, housing. Like many of you, I grew up in a family when the price of food went up, it was felt throughout the family. Remember those long lines of cars waiting for hours just to get a box of food put in their trunk? Unlike the $2 trillion tax cut passed in the previous administration, that benefited the top 1% of Americans. The American Rescue Plan... The American Rescue Plan <laughs> helped working people. We were told the tax break for those at the top and benefits would trickle down and everyone would, would benefit. But that trickle-down theory led to a weaker economic growth, lower wages, bigger deficits, and a widening gap between the top and everyone else in, in, in nearly a century. Vice President Harris and I ran for office and I realize we have fundamental disagreements on this, but ran for office with a new economic vision for America. To put us in a path to win the economic competition of the 21st century that we face with the rest of the world, particularly China. We lose something? I told Xi Jinping, it's never been a good bet to bet against the American people. There's been a law on the books for almost a century to make sure taxpayers' dollars support American jobs and businesses. Every administration, Democrat or Republican, says they'll do it <laughs> but we're actually we're actually doing it we'll buy america if you travel 20 miles east of columbus ohio you'll find a thousand empty acres of land what are you looking for it won't look like much but if you stop and look closely <laughs> it's like i can't read you'll this see a field of dreams blind. just look around and you'll see an amazing story is trump <laughs> the rebirth of pride that comes from stamping products made in america some of the most there. sophisticated manufacturing in the world to make com <laughs> computer chips the size of a fingertip. From smartphones, technology, to the internet, technology has yet to be invented. But that's just the beginning. And all they're waiting for is for you to pass this bill. <laughs> so let's not wait any longer. Send it to my desk, I'll sign it, and we'll really take off. It's time <laughs> to see the, the what used to be called the Rust Belt become the, the, the home of, of a significant resurgence of manufacturing. Inflation is robbing them of gains they thought otherwise they would be able to feel. I get it. <laughs> so you didn't have people making those beams that went into buildings because they were out. The factory was closed. 
The panic also disrupted the global supply chain. The panic? Factories close. When that happens, it takes longer to make goods and get them to the warehouses, to the stores, and go, prices go up. I think I have a better idea to fight inflation. Lower your costs, not your wages. <laughs> 17 Nobel laureates in economics said my plan will ease long-term inflationary pressures. I really mean to think about that. That's what I think about. So that's my plan, but we have to go more detail later. I'm going to grow. We will grow the economy. So what are we waiting for? The previous administration not only ballooned the deficit with those tax cuts for the very wealthy corporations, it undermined the watchdogs. Remember we had those debates? No. That's what I think about. In the G7 <laughs> and other meetings overseas we were able to put together, I was able to be somewhat helpful. Guess what? You got four basic meatpacking facilities. That's it. You play with them or you don't get to play at all. Tonight I can say we're moving forward safely back to a no, norm, more normal routines. Under the new guidelines, most Americans and most of the country can now go mask-free. We'll never give up on vaccinating more Americans. <laughs> because you can't build a wall high enough to keep out a, 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 a vaccine. The vaccine can stop the spread of these diseases. We, we are also ready with antiviral treatments. I'm announcing you can order another group of tests. COVID, go to covidtest.gov starting next week and you can get more tests. Let's stop sending nope. these, seeing each other as enemies. Start seeing each other she froze. for who we are. We <laughs> folks. Ban assault weapons with high capacity magazines hold up a hundred rounds. You think the deer are wearing Kevlar vests? Look, repeal the liability shield that makes gun manufacturers the only industry in America that can't be sued. The most fundamental right in America is the right to vote and have it counted. And look, it's under assault. In state after state, new laws have been passed. Not only to suppress the vote, we've been there before, but to subvert the entire election. Justice Breyer, Thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this guy I mean, is there his pearls that he For our advance liberty and justice, we need to secure our border and fix the immigration system. Get rid of outdated rules and stop doctors and, and the, that stop doctors from pres prescribing treatments. You're looking at a menu? And our troops in Iraq have faced in Afghanistan have faced many dangers. One being stationed at bases, breathing in toxic smoke from burn pits. Yeah. He's excited about that. <laughs> Many of you have been there. <laughs> I've been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan over 40 times. Projects that led in DARPA to the internet, GPS, and so much more to make our forces more safer and be able to wage war more with more clarity. So on this night, on our 245th year as a nation, I've come to report on the state of the nation, the state of the union. <laughs> the state of the union is strong because you, the American people, are strong. We are stronger today. We are stronger today than we were a year ago. This is our moment to meet and overcome the challenges of our time. And we will, as one people, one America, the United States of America. God bless you all. May God protect our troops. Thank you. Go get him. <laughs> get who? <laughs> Is he keating? <laughs> He's keating. Go get him. <laughs> that was awesome. That's great, G. Good job, but my God, God help us.